This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. Get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See how I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you, every day, the data release, they release us as false. Men meant to mess with us psychologically so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen. Citadel and Ken Griffin, even though he runs it, Citadel is its own separate corporation. But from what I've been seeing in the real estate market in Miami, in Florida, in South Florida rather, Ken Griffin appears to be having liquidity issues. I'm not talking about Citadel as a company. I'm talking about Ken Griffin personally. Ken Griffin has been selling his property and, 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 and some of it at less than 50% of the appraised value. So that tells me, and this is just my opinion, that he is having liquidity issues. He needs money fast. So he was spending all this money on $100 million house, gonna build a house for his mother and all this other thing that, that he was alleging. But it seems like Ken Citadel, Ken Griffin is having liquidity issues. Now, I'm not in his head. I don't know what he's thinking, but why would you sell your property for less than 50% of what it's worth? Is there some tax implications in there? Is there something else going on that we can't see yet? But here's the thing. Here's another theory that I was thinking about. There's something called piercing the corporate veil. And what that means is people can have a corporation and they can commit crimes in that corporation, but because the corporation is legally a separate entity, you can't really go after that person's personal funds. But if the person's actions were so egregious that it pierced the corporate veil, which means that their actions were so egregious that you can now go after their personal assets, then they might have a real legal issue their financial their personal financial assets might be at risk so at this point i'm wondering if ken griffin thinks that his actions were so egregious that they will pierce the corporate veil and he would become legally responsible legally responsible for the losses to his shareholders and the people who gave him money to invest if his personal assets could be liable. And to me, that makes more sense than anything else, that he's getting rid of his assets because he sees the writing on the wall, he sees the lawsuits coming, and he knows that his actions ha have been so egregious that they've pierced the corporate veil and he could be personally liable financially for the actions of Citadel. So in order to protect himself, and, and hide his money, he is selling his property at less than market value to get the cash as soon as possible. Now, anyway, listen, hit the like button, subscribe button. Tell me what y'all think about Ken Griffin getting rid of all his assets for less than half the price of what they value. And tell me if you think that he's trying to hide assets because he thinks that he's gonna be financially responsible for all the criminal activities that's being done by Citadel for the last two years. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me. God bless.